Hello and welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews. My name is of course Dan W. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. Now if you are following me on Instagram, then you will know what I've been buying recently. So this next unboxing slash reveal won't come as too much as a surprise. But I thought I'd throw some more content on the channel during this Marvel Legends hiatus. Uh, the figure reviews are coming for Marvel Legends. I'm just waiting to get a few more of those new box sets. Hopefully Defenders box set soon. Hopefully the A-Force box set soon. Uh, also a couple of other figures and two packs. But in the meantime, what have I been wasting my money on? Well, uh, let me show you. Now, I posted pictures of these two on Instagram. Now, this is the black and blue Power Rangers from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Now, a little bit of history for people that care. No one does, but I'll tell you anyway. Uh, Power Rangers, one of my first loves. Come out in about 1993, 94. So I was about five, six years old. And yeah, it was one of my first loves as a kid. I remember Power Rangers and I had all of the figures as a kid. I remember my mum telling me stories of her and my auntie queuing up in massive queues in Toys R Us, fighting off other mums to make sure she got me those Power Ranger figures back in the day. Um, but obviously don't have those figures anymore. So I have been seeing pictures online of these Power Rangers uh, legacy figures going around. And I'm only interested in the Mighty Morphin uh, Power Rangers, never really got into any of the other series. I outgrew it quite quickly as a kid, but it was uh, a very um, memorable thing for me to reminisce about as a kid. And these figures were pretty good and they're six inch scale as well. So they scale perfectly with Marvel Legends so they don't look stupid on the shelf. Um, so yeah, I couldn't resist. I had to buy these figures. So I got black and blue. Um, and then obviously you had to get the whole set. So there we got the Red Ranger, um, the Pink Ranger, Kimberly. I think that was one of my first crushes as a kid was Kimberly. Uh, and also the Yellow Ranger. So there we go, the whole squad. And I was looking everywhere for the Green Ranger, um, but apparently he's super expensive to buy in this legacy wave. Um, so I wasn't gonna be burning money to get it. So instead I got the other version of Tommy and I got the White Tiger, White Ranger. So now I have six Power Ranger figures uh, to reminisce about. So I'm gonna be posing these on the shelf. My girlfriend will probably go mad, but I don't care. One of my first loves as a kid was Power Rangers. So it's great to have a set of figures uh, so that I can sit and reminisce about. Um, but yeah, Power Rangers. Didn't think I'd be buying them at the start of the year, but they're pretty good. And um, what else have I been buying? Now this next set I did really want. Let me just put some of these down. Now I'll pull the box up. Now these, uh, before I pull them out, I basically broke my bank. Uh, I shouldn't have brought them, but I wanted them so bad. I wanted them in hand and I wanted to do some reviews. Um, so I did break my budget a little bit to get these. Um, so yeah, without further ado, I've already opened the box as I was desperate to see them when I got them. Uh, but I don't know if you can see. Can you see? Articulated icons. Um, I was desperate to get some of these when I've been seeing all the ACBA people on Instagram posting ninjas and whatnot. Oh, there we go. Let me get them out of the box. Move away. So yeah, this was a Kickstarter campaign by the guys at the Fuchs, the Fuchs, I think they are. Uh, I watched their reviews, they're a pretty good channel, uh, but I wasn't around for the Kickstarter. Didn't invest in it, unfortunately. I just didn't know about it. I was too late. Um, so I didn't think I'd get these figures, but when they finally started, I think it took two years for them to start coming out. But uh, apparently they are worth the wait. There's some really good ninja figures here, some modern ninjas as well. Uh, so I can, I wanted some hand soldiers essentially to be fighting my Daredevil and Electra on my Marvel Legends shelf. So these are perfect and I was dying to get hold of these. Um, so yeah, what did I buy? I brought a deluxe ninja as I wanted to see what all the accessories are. And again, these are six inch scale. So they scale with Marvel Legends, which are perfect. So yeah, I got a deluxe ninja. He looks like an old man at the minute, but I'm sure he looks pretty good out of the box. Uh, I've got two, um, which ones are they? Two solitaires, so these are the two. So these are two modern ninjas. Again, these are all in the black tactical suit. They've got like the sort of Call of Duty ghost inspired mask with some decent weapons like a silencer and some swords. So they thought they'd be pretty good. And then I also got two basic, basic black ninjas. I did want to get some basic red ninjas, uh, but they were sold out by the time I actually pulled the trigger to buy these figures. Uh, but some black ninjas will do, so they can go along with my deluxe black ninja. So I've got three ninjas and then two solitaires, two modern ninjas. So really interested to get these out of the box. Genuinely have not opened these yet, so I have no idea what they're like. 
Uh, people have told me to be careful and due to quality control and all of that, but I'm sure they are very good. Just have to be a little bit careful. But the accessories are meant to be really good as well. So yeah, there you go, people. There are my reveals for today. Is uh, the articulated icons, the Furu, uh, don't ask me how to say it. I can't pronounce it, but I'm just gonna call them articulated icons. Um, and Power Rangers, random. No Marvel Legends for now, but Marvel Legends are coming. Uh, but I thought I'd throw a video up on the channel uh, to see what people thought. So, if you want to see some reviews of these figures, as in all of the Power Rangers Legacy figures, and then obviously these articulated icon ninjas and even the solitaire, the modern ninjas, then uh, let me know in the comments. Please engage with the channel, uh, hit that like button and let me know in the comments. If this video gets over 50 likes, which isn't a lot people, but if this video gets over 50 likes, I will do reviews of these figures. Uh, but let me know in the comments which ones you want to see, uh, as I might do all of the Power Rangers together um, just in one little one-off video, as I doubt I'll be buying many more of these. I just wanted one nice set for the shelf. Um, um, but yeah, should I be reviewing the, uh, these articulated icons in more details as I'll do lots of comparisons with Marvel Legends and whatnot. Uh, I know there are quite a lot of reviews out there, so I don't want to clog YouTube up with pointless reviews. Uh, but if you are interested to see my opinions and thoughts on these figures, then let me know in the comments below. Hit that like button. Again, if this video hits 50 likes, uh, then I will do some reviews. If not, just let me know in the comments. And if I get enough response, then I might do them anyway. Uh, but yeah. That's it for now, people. As I said, more Marvel Legends are coming. I have got some of my friend Rolando is keeping faith for me in the US of A, and I also have the Defenders box set on pre-order. Uh, so yeah, hopefully Defenders box set will come soon. The A-Force box set. Uh, I've got some single carded figures and then some two packs as well. Uh, so yeah, more Marvel Legends reviews to come. But in the meantime, this is what I've been wasting my money on. And my name's been Dan W. And I shall see you on the next one. Pow.